Ahast, he stinks with sweat for the chin streets at Ursh. Tell him your Indian name. Appleson, Raymond, Zitan. Say chin streets at Ursh. My name is Nikki Petrie. My Indian name is Madalek, and this is my daughter. Her name is Adela, and her Indian name is Carries the Medicine. We are Coeur d'Alene, which is an Indian community in present day North America. I've been dancing a northern traditional old style my entire life since I was my daughter's age and it's very different how we dance in the northwest. We lift our feet up really high, it's how our women used to move through the fields. Oftentimes you'll see us in buckskin that has very short fringe because that's how our women, um, if we had long fringe it would get stuck and so our women needed to easily move through the fields. And um, we dance with a high step because of the rocky mountain terrain that to live in and that we still live in today um, so our women wouldn't step on things and um, we walk around to honor our people we walk in a circle because um, everything is interconnected to one another and my daughter she dances now socially for fun but we're having a ceremony for her next July her coming up circle ceremony where she'll be able to dance with me and she'll be able to start breaking Who taught you how to dance, Adela? Mommy. Your mommy taught you how to dance? Yeah. Have you been dancing for a long time? Yeah. yeah? Felito Saho Chipo at Felicite Robicho Homosia. Hi, my name is Felicite Robicho and I'm a member of the United Homo Nation. Um, I am a women's fancy shawl dancer. So, um, women's fancy shawl is a modern style of dance um, done at powwows. It's um, supposed to represent a butterfly flying through the wind. And so, here's our shawl, which kind of resembles butterfly wings. So, every time we dance, we hold our shawl very high and we swing it around to kind of represent that butterfly. Um, I designed my shawl, so um, everything done on here has been handmade. Um, I helped pick out the colors and stuff. And your shawl just kind of represents your own personal style. And so what I love about um, dancing women's fancy shawl, it's just a great way of expressing yourself. So um, every time you go to a powwow, you keep your head high and proud, and you just express yourself in that dance circle. Um, I've been dancing since I was about one years old. As soon as I could walk, I was in that powwow circle, and I've been doing it for about 23 years now. Um, I just really enjoy it. And so every summer at Indian camp, my role is um, teaching students how to dance. And so we dance about five hours a day. And so it's, a, it's an exhausting time, but it's so worth it because um, every Friday at the end of camp, we have a powwow. And I just love watching the students grow and learn how to dance at the, um, at the camp's powwow. So thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dixie Bro. Um, I'm part of the United Homo Nation Tribe. I serve on the Tribal Council as District Number 11 Councilwoman and the Tribal Secretary. Hi, Miss Dixie. It's nice to meet you. Um, so, what style of dance do you do? I do um, jingle dance. Jingle dance? And uh, who taught you how to dance? Um, a lady named Memory Hayes <laughs> uh, at a summer camp when I was 
12. Um, can you tell us about your regalia and who made it? Um, I've actually made this one myself. Uh, Jingle Dance is a healing dress dance, so all the cones you see here, as we roll them ourselves, we pray over them and we individually rolled them one at a time and added. Um, it took me about a month, many hours a day, <laughs> working to make the full regalia I have on. And how did you choose the designs on your regalia? Um, I think this one was just a design I had seen around. And, um, I mean, your colors are your personality. You could, you know, that's the toughest part is deciding what colors schemes look good together. So. And um, what do you like about dancing? Um, I like my dance because it has so much meaning in the powwow community as the healing dress um, dance and just the history behind this dance and going to powwows now, especially with my two kids, uh, being in the circle with them is extra bonus now. Well, thank you. <laughs> Okay. What's your name and age? I'm Landon and I'm 11 years old. I am Wyatt and I am 8 years old. Hey, nice to meet you Landon and Wyatt. And um, what style of dance do you do? I do a traditional dance. I do grass dance. And are you both wearing um, traditional and grass regalia today? Yes, yes. ma'am. So um, who taught you how to dance? My mom. So your mom taught both of you? and people at camp. How old were you when you started to dance? I was about at least six years old when I started to dance. Three. You're about three? <laughs> okay. And um, who helped you make your regalia? Chief. Chief and my, my mom. mom. So Chief and your mom? And this I made some of it at camp. So Chief and your mom and at camp, y'all had to put together every single piece of what you're wearing today? Yes, ma'am. Um, about how long do you think it took for y'all to put that together? Probably more, at least, like five days, at least. Okay, and um, what do you like about dancing? Um, my favorite part is when we go to the ceremonies, get to meet a lot of new people and see what they do as dancers. And so um, now we'll ask you to demonstrate your type of dance. My name is Lily and my age is nine. What style of dance do you do? Fancy. Fancy. Who taught you how to dance? At camp, the teachers. And you started going to camp when you were really little, right? So every year you've kind of learned and built on it? Yeah. Awesome. Edit that. Um, how long have you been dancing? Nine years. Nine, nine years? Nice. That's good. Can you tell us about your regalia? Like, who made it? Granny, Miss Brenda's mom. And can you stand up and like kind of give us a twirl? Oh, nice flowers. Thank you. What do you like about dancing? It, re it represents Indians. Mm -hmm. Do you have, you have fun with it? Mm -hmm. That's good. Can you demonstrate your style of dancing?